Uh, I'm based at the Department of Computer Science at uh, University College London, at, as well at the College of Medicine at the University of Ibadan in Nigeria. Um, my, um, my work is related on solutions, AI solutions for global health challenges, such as pediatric infections, malaria, or other uh, non -communic communicable and non-communicable diseases. Um, the world has been basically harnessing AI uh, algorithms we develop to actually look at data that can improve diagnostics or can improve clinical pathways or can actually as well make decisions faster, uh, therefore savings on the healthcare systems which are stretched. So basically it kind of focuses on challenges on, on these global health um, problems. Another aspect of what I do at the moment is actually develop the actually the hardware that actually the AI is going to work on. For example, we develop a microscope itself that has a lot of AI components, uh, which for diagnostics like navigation, uh, detection of a specific objects like malaria parasites and, and other uh, hematological aspects of, of, the, of, a, of a malaria screen, screening. And another, uh, another important part of what we do, and I think that, that um, the role of AI, as I see, as a person that works on challenges in health in the region, is that in, in, in Africa it has a more transformative because it, it creates opportunity. For example, these projects, the ones I'm talking about, are already running. Uh, they are generating actually employment, they are generating teams, things are being in, and now developed to use the technology in the, in the front line. Uh, we have a tool that like improves MRI resolution, and that is being now used by radiologists, it started to be used by radiologists in, 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 in Nigeria, for example, and that brings through those tools, you can train people, uh, uh, professionals in other areas, so increases interdisciplinary, so it opens opportunity, which is the opposite, as you see in the North countries or in the West, AI seems to be to take jobs out of people or doing tasks. I think in, in, in Africa, you can use it as to solve challenges that will increase development, development of the region. So the ways it can facilitate development is focusing on challenges that the region has, okay? The, the region has many challenges, from the technological gaps to the ones on governance, etc. I want to focus on more closer to me, because of my background as a basic scientist in, 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 in medicine, biomedicine, and computer science. Uh, in those areas, we can clearly see that we can't aid the developing areas of improving the key drivers of, uh, of um, the key drivers of lack of development, which is inequality, neonatal mortality, and maternal mortality. Those are actually three axes that actually drive the region. Uh, the region has still too much uh, communicable diseases, so HIV, tuberculosis, and malaria. So those are another challenge. And another challenge is that as people are living older in Sub-Saharan Africa, for example, uh, like in Nigeria, people span is, is increasing with the GDP increase, you have a bigger impact of non-communicable diseases. So those, I think I can bring a lot of management, healthcare systems, policy making, strategies for that. But of course, there is another area on the development that you cannot do that only for the health. You have to develop uh, power, infrastructure, and water, sanitation. So there needs to be a concerted element to this. So you cannot have only the health people working alone. It has to be the engineers on infrastructure at the same time, or telecommunications, etc. Well, the main project that we'll focus is what I'm already doing. I would like to have an AI-driven platform for diagnosis of diseases fast in, in the in clinical labs. You can achieve that. 